Hello friends and welcome to Let's Read Accountancy. Till now we have seen all the concepts of partnership accounting right from its formation till its dissolution. So today we are going to solve the basic problem on partnership final accounts with the simple adjustments based on this video session. So if you have any doubts you can quickly go through this video before starting with the session. Now, what are the prerequisites you should take before start solving any question? So, the first and foremost step is read the question correctly. This is the very important step. Give good amount of time on this. Try to analyze properly. Don't be in rush. Try to interpret the question correctly. And while reading, you can mark or highlight the important items which are required adjustments. By marking these items we will not miss out on any adjustment and also get an idea as to how much lines we are supposed to leave for each adjustment. So let's get started. Let's read the question. Rock and John are in partnership sharing profits and losses equally. Following is a trial balance as on 31st March 2017. And these are the few adjustments with the help of which we will simultaneously mark the items in the trial balance which are required to be adjusted. So first one is prepaid salary which is 1000. So let's mark it here. Then depreciation on plant and machinery 10% and building 5%. Then there is partners are allowed interest at 10% on their capital and charge 5% per annum on the drawings. Closing stock. Outstanding insurance, bad debts were rupees 5000, provision for doubtful debts, and then reserve for discount on debtors and creditors. That's it. Now, after reading question, we need to analyze what are the accounts we have to prepare. Now, this is the problem on partnership final account, and we have already seen how to prepare financial statement, right? No major differences here. We are going to prepare same trading account, profit and loss and balance sheet. Since it is partnership final account, so we have to prepare one extra account which is partner's capital account. Sometimes in exams, we provide information of which accounts we have to prepare. So we have already prepared the necessary accounts. Now after preparing necessary accounts, we will post all the entries from the trial balance and we will leave the space for the adjustments. To make this process faster, we will just shift all the items in the financial statement. But you can take as much time you want. It is better you do it quickly, this will surely save your time. Now after posting all the entries from trial balance, let's give the effects of adjustments. So let's start with the first one. Don't forget that every adjustment has two or more effects, right? So the first is prepaid salary, rupees 1000. It's very easy to solve. So the first effect will be deduct from salaries as it is future expense and does not belong to current year. And second effect will be recorded on the asset side of balance sheet as it is a future expense paid in advance. Next is Depreciation on plant and machinery and building 10% and 5% respectively. This is easier one, right? As always, it reduces the value of an asset. Therefore, the first effect will be deduction from asset in the balance sheet. As well as recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account as it is expense for the organization. Then the third one, partners are allowed interest at 10% per annum on their capital. Now what will be the effect of this entry? Think for a minute. Think and remember the video on introduction to partnership. So the first effect will be credit side of partners capital account as it is income for the partners. And another effect will be recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account. Why? As the organization have to pay interest to the partners. Remember the entity concept. Organizations and owner are different from each other. Likewise, the next adjustment is drawings. 
So can you guess the effect on interest on drawings? Yes, it will be vice versa as drawing is an expense for the partners and income for the business. I hope you guys are getting all the answers so far. So let's move on to the fourth one, closing stock. This is a very important adjustment since it is a stock. So first effect will be credit side of trading account and its second effect will be on the asset side of the balance sheet as stock is an asset to the company. Next is outstanding insurance. Now as we have given effect to prepaid expense in the first adjustment, uh, can you give effect to outstanding insurance also? Here is a small hint for you all. This expense belongs to current year but it is unpaid. So think for a minute. So let's check the effects now. It will be added in insurance on the debit side of profit and loss account as its current year expense which is unpaid. So we need to show it in current year's financial statement. And second effect will be on the liability side of balance sheet to show a true fair view of the balance sheet. Hope it's easy for you to understand now. Let's move on to the next adjustment. Now the following adjustments are interrelated with each other and it is kind of my favorite adjustment also. So first is bad debts were 5000. Since it is loss for an organization, it will be added in bad debts on the debit side of profit and loss account and will be deducted from debtors since they are the customers which are not going to pay. Then provision for doubtful debts at 10%. What will be the effect of this adjustment? Let me give you a hint here. Provision for doubtful debts is always calculated on debtors but after deducting bad debts. So yes, this will have same effect as that of bad debts because doubtful debts if not paid is as good as bad debts. So we have to make provisions for the same. First effect will be addition in bad debts on the debit side of profit and loss account. And second effect will be deduction from debtors. Then the last one which is reserve for discount on debtors and creditors, rupees 500 and 1000 respectively. Now the discount is sometime income for someone and it may be an expense for other one. It varies from the various perspectives. Now first let's give the effects for discount on debtors. Can you tell me is it loss or revenue for the organization? Yes, it will be loss for the company because they are selling goods to debtors at a lesser or discounted value. So the first effect will be recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account. And second effect will be deduction from debtors on the asset side of the balance sheet as the discount amount is no more an asset to an organization. Similarly, can you give effects or discount on creditors? Let me give you a hint here. Discount given by creditors is profit for the company. So think for a minute. So the first effect will be on the credit side of profit and loss account. And the second effect will be deduction from creditors on the liability side of balance sheet. As the discount provided to us by the creditor is the amount which is no more is our liability. So before we proceed to the last step, just glance over the solution, check if you have missed anything. Done. Here make sure that numbers are written one below the other. This will make easy for you to calculate. Try to use commas. Now let's close these accounts. First we will close trading account and transfer the gross profit or loss to profit and loss account. Then profit and loss account. And transfer the net profit or loss to partner's capital account. 
After that, close partner's capital account or any other related account and transfer the balance to balance sheet. And finally, we will tally the balance sheet. Your balance sheet tally doesn't mean it's correct. There may be some compensating errors. So to be sure, just check once. Now as we have finally completed all steps, our sum is complete. This is how partnership final account problem gets solved. Hope you guys have understood. Once you have understood how to prepare financial statement, then you can solve any such type of questions. Now let's take another sum for practice and try solving on your own by pausing the screen for a few minutes and later you can check the solution. These are the hints. And this is the solution. So that's all for today. We will back soon with yet another problem based on partnership final accounts where we will be dealing with different adjustments. Till then, keep watching, keep learning and all the best for your exams. Thank you.